All right, what's up, Internet? Hey, guys, it's me, Josh. Pour yourself a beverage. Today, we're going to talk about starting new relationships after a breakup. Today, I am drinking an iced coffee uh, with a little bit of hazelnut creamer. It's very tasty. So pour yourself something nice and refreshing, and let's talk about relationships. And if you're noticing something new in this area, yes, I, uh, I'm using a new exfoliator, so I'm pretty happy with it. Nice to meet ya, I'm Sab, says, any advice for someone recovering after a breakup and trying to date someone again? Any advice for someone recovering after a breakup? So I thought a little bit about this before, <laughs> before I turned the camera on. Let's all take a sip, shall we? I talked to Pamela, I was like, hey, I wanna talk about this, I got this question, are you comfortable with me talking about dating and even um, dating people after my divorce and what led me and you back together and she said please and please tell them certain points about how we got back together so she um, she gave me the green light on this video relationships make the world go round that's why um, we're all obsessed with, with relationships that's why so many TV shows movies songs uh, sing about it, talk about it, uh, project it into our societies. We're obsessed with finding love. Obviously, we're human beings, we want that connection. Relationships are hard, they're difficult. And when you find a healthy one that you're happy in, um, that's it's not very common. It's, it's, it's hard to find it, so we're always on this journey of finding love, right? But specifically today, and with this question from, I believe your name is Sab, you wanted to talk about uh, starting a new relationship after a breakup. So if you're in that category or if you've been in that category, let's talk about it. I'd love to hear your stories down below and if things have worked out for you, please start discussing, be kind to one another down there and let's all be a part of this conversation. Starting a relationship after a breakup. You have to assess where you are personally and emotionally and if you're even capable of having a mutual relationship with someone moving forward. You have to understand where's your heart. I'm gonna start off with this quote. Do not date to replace. When you're hurt and you're single again and you wanna fill that void, a lot of the times you date to replace someone or you date to replace that void, that kind of emptiness in your life that you're feeling. And most times when you do that and you have that kind of what they call a rebound, it's not gonna work out and you need to be aware of where you are. Like really be honest with yourself. A lot of your friends would be like, go put yourself out there. And I understand why people would say that they want you to be happy again or to find a new happiness. But if you're not ready, if you're still holding on, if you're entangled still emotionally into what was in your past, it's really hard for you to connect fully with someone moving forward. So if you are still struggling with processing a breakup, that is not the time to step forward into a new one. Mistakes I made, and mistakes I think a lot of people make. I've never went out of my way to hurt someone, but because I wasn't being honest with myself, I did hurt people, and I was on the dating apps. I wanted to feel happiness so badly, and I wanted to be able to walk away from all this pain in my life so badly that I thought, okay, the only way to do this is to put myself out there and find someone new or to have a new camaraderie with someone and, and go through that roller coaster of emotion with someone. I need that. And the problem is when you're still struggling with a breakup, you're not fully present and ready to accept someone's love and time. But then you end up going on dates with people that are ready. So when you have those two people meeting in the middle, those two intents are not going to mesh well together. Eventually what's going to happen is they're going to get attached to you and you're going to always keep them at like an arm's length. Like they're close but they're not too close. Then you end up ghosting people. That happens when you're not emotionally available or able to connect to someone who is. You ghost. You back out because you're not ready yet or you're just afraid of commitment. And that can be for a lot of reasons. It might not even have to do with a breakup. I went on dates and I was on the apps and I was even honest. This is what happened. This is my truth, my past. And I want to be able to move forward. And I thought by being honest with them, 
they would understand that I needed to move slowly and that I wasn't ready to jump in fully. The thing is, you gotta look out for someone else's feelings. You can't just look out for yours. I wasn't truly processing how that might feel for them. Someone posted this on Facebook today and I screenshotted it because I thought it's exactly what I'm talking about right now. I'm sorry if me dating you made you think that I wanted to date you. For anyone that ghosts someone or backs away and they're like, why did that person get so frustrated with me? They were crazy, they were so into me and I had to like back up. They weren't crazy because you weren't ready to be in a relationship. It's like you're saying, I'm sorry if me dating you, I'm sorry if me taking you out and spending time with you and opening up about my life and having sweet moments with you, I'm sorry if me dating you made you think that I wanted to keep dating you. Just because you say, hey, I'm struggling right now and you know, I've been through a lot. And then you, sh you spend all this time with them and then they're like, yeah, I'm into this. But then you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. I can't do this, I'm not ready. It's because you're still, sorry to use the word, Jada. I'm still entangled. Not, not because I wanna be. When you're still wrapped up and processing the loss of a person in your life and the memories, that went along with that, and the family that went along with that, the friendships that went along with that, when you're still processing that that's not your life anymore, it's gonna be really hard for you to come to the table and say, here's me and I'm ready to do this again. So that's why it comes all the way full circle to what I first said. You have to assess where you really are. You have to be honest with yourself. Are you ready? Are you able? And don't use people as like science experiments, as a guinea pig, to be like, uh, maybe I'll just meet the right one that makes me forget the last one. That's not the way to do it. People are not toys. People are not tactics for you to get over things. I hope I'm making sense. So to wrap this part of the conversation up, I definitely dated when I wasn't ready to date. I learned from those situations to be like, whoa man, you just need to stop pursuing someone anyone stop it you're not you're not able to you need to fully process and heal and being alone sucks you know i hurt people along the way and i i wish i had not and i have apologized since so let's move forward to when it was the time when i reconnected with pamela who's my wife i did not connect with her or reconnect with her under the intent of let's light this flame again let's let's redo this relationship that we had back in college for those of you that don't know we dated in college. I wanted to just reach out and see if she was doing okay in life and just to see where she was. And in doing so, and it's a long story, again, you can hear it with the podcast, we became even better friends than we were 15, 17 years ago when we had met earlier. And one day it just clicked. One day I realized that I was ready. And I made that known to her and the rest is history. So if you're watching this video right now and you are debating in your head, am I ready for a new relationship? I went through a breakup, whether it was recent or years ago. Take my opinion in this video with a grain of salt, honestly. The only person that's gonna know if you are ready and capable to come to the table and be in a healthy relationship, the only person that's gonna know that is you. No one else can tell you that. And I think we all internally, we do know the answer. I knew I wasn't ready. I knew I wasn't ready. <laughs> Obviously love is a complicated thing and we could talk for hours and hours and hours about it, but also there's, there's so much peace to be had with truly loving yourself and not waiting for someone to validate you, to have you validate you. I think a lot of times um, me, Especially, I've, I've needed validation from other people in relationships, and you're never fully gonna feel validated by another person. You gotta find it in yourself. I've never felt this kind of peace before. There's just a mutual respect and love and peace. And it also, like, because she's a confident person within herself, and I'm a confident person within myself, or getting confident. I'm getting confident within myself. I still have rough days. Even before I turned this camera on, I thought, I don't wanna make a video and talk about love. People are gonna analyze and everything that I say. Blah, blah, blah. But I said, you know what, no. Get that chip off your shoulder, make a video, and, and talk about some good stuff. So be nice to yourselves, uh, be nice to people, and if you're searching for love, don't hurt people along the way. Or why?
Oh hey, it's me again. If you're still watching this video, I wanted to remind you guys that my old merch store over at Spreadshirt.com is back up and running. So if you like the classic Be Nice to People style, that's back on the market. If you want the newer version, that's up as well. I've also put that logo on some new products that I've never sold before. So. Click down below, go check it out. If you do go and get something, snap a picture of you with it so that I can share it on social media. So send it over to my Twitter or tag me or whatever on the social media platforms. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys are having a great day, night, weekend, whenever you're watching this. <clears throat> I'll see you when I see you. I should probably turn